everybody, John here, Sergeant Rents. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're here at the shop. We got some heavy lifting to do. We got some heavy work we got to get done here. Uh, a lot of cement work. So let me give you a quick sneak peek here of what we're going to be doing. As you can see, this old pillar here. This used to be front of the front of the building uh, back in the day, and they kind of tore out all of this and all of this, and it's supported with some metal beams. Our architect wants us to shore this up. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to basically put a, a cinder block in here and uh, put some concrete there and then up here we need to do the same thing we need to get those two little pieces of um, two by four out of there and replace that because it looks like honestly i think the weight of that beam is just resting on that right there because this thing this thing shakes a little bit so i don't know if there's much weight on that if any so we're gonna be shoring that up down here and then um in the front here, part of what we're going to be doing is there's going to be some steel channels that are going to be on either side of this and in the front. And to make sure that those have somewhere safe and sturdy to lay, we're going to have to dig a footer underneath here in this crawl space. And uh, that's what the steel channel is going to rest on. There's going to be a big uh, steel footer or um, steel channel, rather, that's going to be sitting on the cement uh, slab down there or uh, foundation footer. One of those things. I think it's the footer. But uh, let me show you what else we're going to be doing. We got a lot of stuff going on here. You got the heat kicking because it's freezing out here in Michigan. But uh, let's show you. We have a boatload of uh, concrete here and some cinder blocks that are all going to need to get moved. And here's the muscle. Mr. Bailey's going to be helping move all this stuff. <laughs> so we're going to get to it. All right, so here's the other area we're gonna have to work on. This is the chimney that goes upstairs. Obviously, we replaced the supports up there, but we need to um, put a chase down here with those steel channels around this to help support it as well. So again, we're gonna have to check the depth of the cement here. If it's not deep enough, we're gonna need to put a, a, a new footer down there, a foundation, and then the same over here where, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but our, uh, no, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but our new steps, there's gonna be the post that comes down and that's gonna go down into here in the floor. So we're gonna need to do the same thing. But until then, oh, remember this place? Yeah, those pipes are coming out. So that's gonna be fun. All right, we're gonna check on Bailey. He's underneath here smashing pipes. How's it coming? Pretty good? Yeah, that one's almost done, right? Yeah. Let's well, see. Yeah, there we go. All right. I sure am glad there's people out here like Bailey who is willing to crawl in there and uh, do this because, uh, I'm, one, I don't think I'd fit in that crawl space. Two, I'm, yeah, I'm a little too old for that now, I think. So uh, he's getting paid well to do it, but better him down there than me. All right, well, while he's going through that, we're going to go, or while he's going through that, well, I guess while he's going through that, I don't want to be going through that, I'll show you some stuff that we picked up. So here's a collection. Um, if you remember, right around Christmas, I had a gentleman who sold me a bunch of this Toy Biz stuff that was um, kind of like on the funky cards. He found them in an attic uh, and all that stuff. Well, this is the rest of the stuff, I guess, um, he found. So brought this stuff by the other day. And uh, here, I'll show you what we have. So we have a lot more of these Fantastic Four figures, the Toy Biz ones. So we have Triton, and we have Xena. Again, uh, this isn't Xena, this is, who is that? Callisto. And then you have, I'm not really super familiar with Xena, uh, King of Thieves there. We have the Fantastic Four's Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic's Sky Shuttle. How's he even breathing? I mean, no, it's not outer space, I guess, it's just a Sky Shuttle. Um, and then we have Mr. Fantastic here with his super stretch arms. You have the Silver Surfer. And then you have the thing, and this is the this is the coolest thing of this bunch, I think. Uh, we have this Max FX figure. Now, again, the boxes aren't in the greatest shape sometimes. When stuff's tossed in the box and stored in the attic for a long time, this is what will happen to it. Pardon the noise. It's uh, we call him Beetle. Beetle down there uh, cutting out some pipe. But um, so we have this Max FX figure, right? This is Freddy Krueger Max FX. So basically, what this was is he was supposed to be like a. Um, special effects master and he would have different costumes so you'd have freddy krueger um, and there was a couple other that they were going to make but i think this was the only one they actually made it didn't sell super well and probably because it's made for like six plus and it's got serial killer on it 
and the parents didn't want to buy it, but it looks like the other ones that were supposed to be in this line was Frankenstein, Dracula, and uh, the alien there. I think this line could have been really cool, um, and they could have branched it out. Maybe if they started off with like a superhero instead of a you know, serial killer first, it would have had more traction with parents buying this stuff for the kids. I don't know, but it's a cool line. Uh, not a cool line, it's a cool figure. It's the only one they make. But uh, anyways, enough playing. Let me get this stuff packed back up and uh, start getting some of this other work done. We call we call Beetle we call Bailey Beetle. He doesn't even know Beetle Bailey, but we call him Bailey Beetle. Okay, what is worse? You just finished in the crawl space, climbing up here to do this insulation, or the crawl space? I'm gonna have to say the crawl space like, was a lot better. Really? Yeah. Better than this? I guess you're up there. It's kind of yeah. high. Yeah. Cross space was definitely better. Wow. I thought it would be the other way around. Put a bet on that, I would have lost the bet. Pretty equal. Pretty equal. I would, I would have lost that bet. So, just got our new display cases. Well, they're new to me. Um, we ended up picking up nine of these glass showroom display cases that will be uh, in the shop here once we get them, uh, once we get the inside ready to go. So, we're looking for a couple, a couple more, uh, shelving units and the taller cases and display cabinets and things of that nature so we're on the lookout for that but we're gonna get back to work here uh beetles over here sticking up insulation so i'm gonna help pretty fun huh oh yeah <laughs> how far down does that brick course go oh it goes deep too does it yeah, there's a footer in there is there underneath the brick yeah well it's they probably use just the brick the footer goes deep dude that ain't going nowhere yeah so this is what I was talking about, guys. We have to break up the cement and dig down 16 inches to pour a new uh, footer, right? Yep. I keep getting footer and foundation confused. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Similar. So we got this one we're going to have to dig down, and then there's one that's going to go around this chimney, and then there's another one back on this back wall here. But, yep, that's it. We're going to be uh, digging up dirt. So, All right, so here's our 16-inch hole. And that puts out a lot of dirt. Alright guys, so Mike uh, was digging and he found something down here. What'd you find, Mike? Looks like an old axe head. That's awesome. How old do you think it is? I mean, it's obviously... How deep are we? We're probably about 12 inches there? Yeah. Man, it's probably 100 years old. That's sweet, because this building, like I said, I think the oldest records I found was 1905. Man, it's almost completely rusted away. That's crazy. Yeah. It's... So this this old axe here is probably part of what like did all these notches and stuff, you think? Yeah. All this old wood. That's cool. Hopefully we'll find something else. Maybe there's some coins or something down there. But yeah, if you guys are familiar with axes, uh, I'll, I'll get it cleaned up and try to figure out if we can figure out how old this thing is. Okay, so we had an idea. We found that axe in the basement. It's been down there probably 100 years. So I had an idea. Let's do a time capsule and put a time capsule in the basement so in, in 100 years, somebody will be able to find this time capsule. All right, so we dug a little bit bigger of an area than we needed so we'd have somewhere to stick this thing. And... Uh, Denise brought the kids up. Here they are. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. Where'd John go? Where'd he go? Ah! He always <laughs> scares everybody. All right, so what we have is we have this box, okay, this plastic box, and we got some stuff we're going to put in there. We're going to put in one of our business cards. John, you want to put the business card in? All right, Tolly, what'd you put in there? A ring? Is that for the kids of the future? Okay. What are you going to put in for the kids of the future? Oh, what are the kids of the future? They'll probably still be able to eat that. You put that in there. Years? You think someone will eat that bazooka in 100 years? No, I will put All right, Tolly, what do you got? Show Daddy. Whoa, oh, wait, Tolly. This guy's name is Raptor from G.I. Joe, okay? John, you want to put Ram Man in there? Put him in, put him in. We're going to put Ram Man from uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Put Ram Man in the box. Bye-bye, Ram Man. Go first. In 100 years, someone's going to find Ram Man and be like, this is cool. We have a penny. We're going to put a penny in there because I found it in the shop. It's current. We got Ram Man in there. We got a little Star Wars. We're going to put um, R2-D2. We just, you want to do it? Okay. And then since the building's under construction, I figured we'd put this truck in there. Who wants to put the truck in there? Me. Tolly. Me. All right. And John, we got a couple more things. We got to make this fit a little bit better. Can I do it? All right. And then we got, we got this, John. You think you're going to put that in there? You think that's going to give some people some spooks? <laughs> In a hundred years, they're gonna think there's a real eyeball in there. Show, show me what you have, John. Why they cut off body parts and put it in plastic? Let's see it. What do we got? Eyeball. An eyeball. Can we see it? An eyeball, an ear, a hand. All right, put that in there, buddy. 
In a hundred years, that's gonna scare someone. You like scaring people, right? You like going rah? Yeah. All right. What? There's a foot. That's a little yeah. foot. What if your eyeball is as big as your foot, John? Can I put that in there. Um, your foot was bigger as your mouth. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna have, we're gonna put a family picture in there so they know who this is from, and a note. Should we read the note or yeah. should we leave it unread yeah. for 100 years? Oh, I was gonna read it. All right, go for it, what's it, it say? Dear people of the future, it is January 2021 as we write this and put together this time capsule. We hope you found this beneath the still standing building in Utica, Michigan. Who knows, they might name the place something different when they open it by the time we find it. This building is currently being renovated to house our vintage toy shop, Sarge and Red's Vintage Toys. Before this, it was a vacant. Before this, it was vacant for a few decades, and before that, it was the Utica Novelty Shop. Going further back in time, it was a dentist and a daycare. During the demolition, we found a newspaper from 1915, so this is a very old building. Sarge and Rad's is very special. It's very special because we started this business back in 2013 as just a fundraiser to raise money for adoption expenses. Since then, the business has grown and so has our family. We hope this has found you in good health and happiness. Surprise from the past, how fitting since we love vintage toys, we are leaving behind a few special toys for you. All the best to the Davises, John, Denise, Tripp, John Jr., and Talia. All right, looks good. You think we should write what these toys are called or let them figure it out on their own? Let them figure, let it, them out. figure it out. All right. Have the internet or Google or whatever the new thing All right, do. so we got this nice and wrapped up. Uh, we're going to take this down and uh, bury it in the basement. All right, guys, so we have a little extra room we, we carved out here, so we're going to set our time capsule in here. And that's where it's going to go. Once the next load of cement is uh, mixed, we'll dump it on top. Should be gone forever. Not forever. 100 years. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're gonna cover the time capsule. Here it goes. In 100 years, someone's going to find some uh, vintage toys and all that fun stuff. There it goes. Goodbye, cool world. You think people will actually find this someday, Mike? I don't. <laughs> no? I'm gonna on, when we're done with the final layer, I'm gonna write time capsule below and put the date and the cement. All right, there she goes. All right, guys, we have a little surprise. My friend Danielle here turned. She showed up here with uh, some goodies. All right, Danielle, tell us what you got. Well, it was a an estate it, home. It was from 1940s. Okay. And they had brought a lot of uh, treasures in when they moved in the house. The family. Yeah. In the 1940s, there was some stuff that was from like the early 1900s. Really? Yeah, lots of different treasures. So this stuff here. was all in the attic, you said? Attic. Um, these things like from the garage, believe it or not, that was from 1920. The garage was actually older. Really? Some old drills. This is before power tools, right? Wow, yeah. Which would be awesome for... <laughs> yeah, those would be good of, for like decorations. Uh, I mean, decorations, I don't know if I'm going to use it for construction and... on the building, but... Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a little level. Yep. Cool, cool. And it's, no, I don't know. Now we're basically saving this stuff from the dump. There's some cool stuff in there. What is this? Let's not fill a landfill. No, with no, the we will not fill a landfill with this tournament bowling. That's cool. Remember that? Remember that's from arcade games. Yeah, right? right. That's before it was all on our phone. Oh yes. Oh, we have like Barbie like doll. And, the oh, prince, goodness. princess of the Portuguese Empire. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is that a yeah. uh, paperback? Oh yeah. We got Jaws. All right. Are this, those cassettes? These oh, those days. are old little handhelds, huh? Okay, yeah. cool. Some video type cameras. All right. What's that? Like a camcorder? A camcorder. Okay. Yeah. And then we have this. Is, remember back in the day when we didn't have pictures, we had slides. Yeah, right. I remember having these. Order. We're dating ourselves. <laughs> I don't really actually remember you. My parents. Let's just uh -huh, that. sure. <laughs> But, yeah, so that's a okay, cool. Well, I just that's fine. but uh, brand new that no one used it. But I just think. Yeah, we'll There's find we'll find homes for all that something. stuff. So yeah, you never know. There's always people out there that. Uh, yeah, no, it's better. Th this is going to save itself from going to the dump. I'm some, sure someone will appreciate a lot of this stuff. Okay, so, cool. I appreciate it, Danielle. Bye, we'll see ya. you. Bye. Well, this is pretty convenient. I came to Home Depot because I needed to get another 15 bags of cement, and they were literally pulling a pallet of cement out um, to put in the front door here. So I asked them if they just whip it around and uh, help me load it up. And lo and behold, they are cool. That makes my life a lot easier. See, this worked out perfectly. So now I don't have to take it all in. See, look at that, perfect timing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. 
All right, well, talk about perfect timing. Let's get this stuff back to the shop. We got some more uh, Cementamix. All right, well, there we go. Cement is dry, or drying. It's all filled. I'm gonna scratch my initials in here real quick, right? Put a little X, X marks a spot for when someone comes up here and digs that in the future. So there you have it, guys. We got that stuff done, and uh, yeah, we got some more work to do tomorrow, but we got to let this stuff set up so we can get these posts down here for the new stairway. And uh, cool. I'm going to go take that axe head home and uh, try to clean some of the rust off of it and see how old it is. All right, guys, so here's the axe we found. I just tried rinsing it off. I don't think that's dirt. I think it's all rust. So I'm going to do some research and see if I can figure out how to clean off that... Um, that rust because I want to figure out how old this is the building is probably from the 1900s earliest records we found was 1905 and this was under the concrete in the basement and uh, probably about 12 inches in the dirt so I'm assuming this is uh probably about 100 years old at least or from that time frame time period so if you guys are axe connoisseurs and this axe looks like something you uh recognize age wise let me know I'm gonna try to get it cleaned up um but yeah it's pretty corroded but i'm gonna see if i can clean it up and that'll go in the display um at the shop we're gonna have something with all the artifacts and things we found in the building from the novelty shop and uh and beyond so anyways guys that's that that's the axe